Since 1999, the Ice Hogs have made Rockford their home. They won the United Hockey League's last ever championship in 2007, the year the franchise was purchased by the city of Rockford, and then they became an American Hockey League affiliate of the NHL's Chicago Blackhawks. They play 80 games in the regular season, delighting hometown fans for 40 of them. Capacity crowds fill the BMO arena as loyal fans shake their cowbells and Hammy the mascot roams the stands. The fans are quick to show their appreciation when their team scores goals and are just as quick to belittle the away team at every possible opportunity. But it's easy to play to the home crowd. What happens when the Ice Hogs take their show on the road? What does it take to move the operation to, say, Peoria or Abbotsford or arch rival Chicago Wolves? Mike Peck, the Ice Hogs play by play announcer, compares how he and the players prepare for a road trip. You know, from a travel standpoint, it's all the same. Everybody just has to pack their own stuff up and make sure it's on the bus. Um, if we're flying, the bus drives to the airport or the, the equipment truck and drops all of our gear off. Um, so it varies from trip to trip. From the actual travel standpoint, it really isn't any different, um, whether you're a, a coach, a player, a trainer, or the broadcaster. Um, but on the road, it, it's a little bit different because... Uh, you know, I prepare for the broadcast, and they have practices and, and, and morning skates and, and, and whatnot. But I guess I kind of view myself, and, and fortunately, they view me as a part of the team. So I travel with the team on the bus, um, you know, partake in the team dinners and the team meals. So it's, uh, I, I'm part of the team, um, even though I'm not down in the locker room for the games or during the games and whatnot. So, um, but for preparation, yeah, just really, really getting your, you know, right amount of clothes packed. You don't want to overpack, don't want to underpack, depending on where we're going as well. You know, for warm clothes, if we're down in Texas, you don't obviously have to bring a jacket, but uh, it's winter time, so you always got to pack warm, I guess. Once the team has arrived at their destination, Mike's work continues. My routine on the road, if it's an overnight trip, um, you know, meaning we're staying in the hotel the night before, um, you know, I like to get up, I like to do a little workout in the morning, go eat breakfast, get on the team bus to the morning skate, which is usually around 9.30 uh, in the morning. Um, I like to do all my interviews in the morning uh, with the coach, uh, the Ice Hogs coach, which is Ted Dent, and then uh, usually one of our players, and then a player or a coach from the other team. So I try to do that all in the morning, um, then go back, uh, do a little website work, um, and then go to the team lunch after that. Yeah, I try to try to trickle in at the end so all the guys go through and, and, and get the lunch first, which is basically a buffet type type lunch uh, at the hotel. And then after that, um, you know, just kind of do some preparation for the game um, and, and do some catch up work either for the office or on the website. Uh, but take notes, go over rosters and stats and um, just start prepping for the broadcast. And then usually about two and a half hours before the game, is when we go over to the arena. Some cities we can walk from the hotel to the arena. Some cities we have to grab a bus, uh, like the team bus over. So we usually get to the rink about two hours before. Um, hopefully my stuff is set up. Usually I try to do that in the morning as well. And um, then same thing, just kind of uh, mingle a little bit with uh, the other broadcaster, grab a little dinner, and uh, 30 minutes before the game, the broadcast starts. Ice Hogs captain Brandon Seagull, who played with them in 2005, knows what it's like to play in both the AHL and the UHL, or U-Haul. Well, it's two different leagues. I mean, you know, in the U-Haul, it's, uh, you know, it's more, uh, I'd say a little bit more casual. Um, you know, we're uh, representing the Chicago Blackhawks now, and, you know, it's, it's very professional, and, you know, Chicago's had a great uh, you know, run here the last few years, and they're one of the top elite leagues and in, in the elite teams in the league. Sorry, and uh, you know, it's it's a lot different, more professional. We still have a lot of fun. Just you know, just got to keep it uh, smart. There can be a lot of antagonism at road games from the crowd. Hockey fans are not known for hiding their feelings about the opposing team. 
but Siegel takes it all in stride. Yeah, it's it's fun. Uh, you know, obviously there's uh, some road teams that have some great crowds and they're loud and obnoxious, but you know, it, you kind of thrive on that. It's fun. It's a good atmosphere. You know, it gets you going and gets you into the game. And I, I enjoy going to road games, and if they have uh, huge crowds like that, it's fun. No matter how fun it is to be the bad guy on the road, it's always nice to get home to the BMO and the awesome Ice Hogs fans. Moni Moni, copyright Tommy James. Boom, shake the room, copyright EMI. Used without permission. Produced by John Robertson and Paul Stalter.